warning. Just for shopping, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Morning. So we are right now on a market. It's seven o'clock, exactly seven o'clock Sunday morning. And um, what we are looking for, we are looking to buy most likely a audio amplifier for our project, you know, the power supply project. The problem is uh, I couldn't find a transformer, so we have to buy probably an audio amplifier because I'm sure we will not find a, a power supply, like an old one. So we have to buy an audio amplifier. This is, is called car boot cell, which is the people market where everyone is, com it's, uh, is coming here and is selling what, uh, what they have in the house, yeah? So hopefully for a few quid we can buy uh, all the audio amplifier. The boot cell is big, it's, you need a few hours just to see everything. Yeah, it's it's a nice morning, Sunday morning. What what can be better, you know? I don't like sleeping. Okay, we have to find a parking place. I think I will stop now and I will start as soon, soon as I will uh, find something. Yeah? See you later, yeah? Bye. Okay, too much for me. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Mate, how much for the amplifier? 30 pounds, 30. No, it's okay, it's, it's over my budget. I can pay 10. Can I? Yes. Thank you. Can I have the deer and elk? Yeah, one of each. Yes, please. Today we have a 3 for 12 or a 6 for 22. Would you like to have it? Because the regular price is this. I want three. Three? Two deer and one elk. Because today, if it's gonna rain, we need to sell everything. Yeah. It's still nice, 90 degrees. Yeah. You have to try the sausages. So we couldn't find an amplifier, but we got some nice sausages. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. And uh, yeah, we have to find uh, another way to buy the the transformer or audio amplifier. Yeah. So, Hello. Let's do it. Yeah. So we have to build a power supply. Now, if you've seen the video, we couldn't find a transformer. So I checked everywhere here on the shop and we have a lot of things. But no linear transformer. And uh, I was like, 
you know, surprise. Going on uh, a car boots a market. And I couldn't find an audio amplifier. There was only one there. It was too expensive. Usually you will find a fully audio amplifier. Uh, lowest as like five pounds. You can get it even under five pounds, you know, if you see it's rusty and it's old. So what I did, yeah. What I did, I bought one from eBay. But not the audio amplifier, only the transformer. For like seven pounds. So I got this one. And uh, it's a three amps, yeah. So keep in mind, we are using what we have, yeah, we are not buying special things. So this is 3 amps and 34 volts, one, uh, one output and the other output is 22.7 volts. So if you are about to build a power supply, we, th we, are, using, we are using what we have. If you have a 5 amps transformer is fine, use that one. If you don't have a 5 amps, you have a 3 amps, use the 3 amps. So actually the schematic will be the same. Now, we are not here to make holes and make cases and things like that. No, I, I'm, I'm not doing that. That's long and I'm, I'm not that guy who is doing boxes. My, my thing is to make a schematic, a simple one only with transistor, using only transistors of a power supply, yeah? So we will have a linear power supply, uh, adjustable voltage, adjustable current. But that's all what we have to do, make it simple. So everyone can uh, build it, everyone can fix it if something goes wrong, so it should be simple. We'll build everything starting from the designing the schematic and trying first to see if everything is okay because not not always the the design it's it's with the practice yeah it's only one thing which which i will not buy because it's too complicated yeah so that things is i really advise to buy it's not expensive you can buy like a voltmeter and a meter this one. This is like three pound uh, fifty seven. That's how much I pay from eBay. And uh, if will be to build this one, it's it's it, it, it's it's very complicated. Yeah. So I don't know. Try to get it. If if not, if not, listen to me. If not, if I will be look. Let me to be honest with you. If I will be to build my own power supply, something which I will use it every day. I will buy an analog uh, ammeter. You need an analog ammeter, yeah? Let me search. Analog ammeter, yeah? So if you do it for yourself, you build this power supply, because obviously you can build it just to learn. Buy an analog ammeter. 0 to 20 amps, no, that's too much. 0 to 5 amps, you can see something like that. It's fantastic because many times, listen, many times you will have things which are getting power quickly, yeah, like quick. And, and if you have like a, a digital one, you'll see nothing. You'll see the, 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 the numbers are changing randomly, but you'll see nothing. But just having the needle. Where you can see a small drop or a small, uh, you know, it's a lot better. And voltmeter you can buy. So you buy an analog ammeter. And all what you need more, it's a voltmeter, which is even cheaper. Something like that. Look, yeah. This is only voltmeter. It's a big screen and it's two pound eighty six, and it's to from zero to thirty volts. So if you buy an analog ammeter and a digital voltmeter, yeah, it's it's even better. Okay.
So I'm waiting for the transformer and for the arm meter and voltmeter and we can start on one video starting building the power supply designing and building and uh, I should have that I'll do the video from home so I will have more time just to explain each thing no we are not checking uh, schematics please don't suggest anything we are not searching even if you search if you go online and search I'm sure you'll find only complicated things Lab power supply schematic now you see you see that that's what I mean these things are too complicated these kind of schematics are too complicated most of them they have chips I don't want to use chips. Use chips, uh, you don't know what is on chip. You don't, it's hard to diagnose the things. It's, it's, it's long because you don't have the chip. So we'll do the power supply in a way with the components what you have around you. Like whatever transistors you have, whatever components do you have there. So that's the idea of the video, okay? So waiting for parts. And uh, yeah, we'll start building one, yeah? Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one, on the point where we are building the power supply, yeah? Bye.